Welcome to another Lumion live stream tutorial. This is Chris Welton from C. Welton Design. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the new material library that comes in Lumion 9. So, something Lumion has been doing that I'm very much a fan of is adding more to their their custom material library or their their material library that comes with the software. And they've been getting them from Polygon which is a wonderful site for materials. I covered this before with Lumion 8, and I even have some tutorials about how to get uh, Polygon custom materials yourself into Lumion the correct way, and how to customize them. So Polygon is a website right here, great for finding materials. It is my number two site. I still am a big fan of Substance, but this is, if you're just looking for straight materials to plug into Lumion, it, this is this is my this is my go-to. They have a wonderful library of materials, and Lumion seems to think so as well because they have added several of them into their new latest library. So, jumping to Lumion's, what's new for Lumion Nine? This kind of gives us the download of everything that's happened for the materials. A great little gift going on here, showing off some new materials here. So it says 112 new materials from, uh, I believe, all of them are from Polygon. The, the biggest problem with Lumion, though, is when you, they add new content, they already have so much. It says now there is over, there is 1,120 as of the recording of this video, not Lumion 9.0. Um, that's for pro, and there's a little bit less for non-pro. So... The problem is they don't have a tab for what's new inside the software. So it's, sometimes it's hard to find which one's new, which one's not. Lumion's been adding Polygon materials for a bit now. And I'm always happy for them to be adding more, but sometimes it's hard to find them. So I'm going to do, I built a scene to try to help you guys um, to be convenient, to try to showcase all the new materials, put them all out. I went ahead and organized them by here. So... So 88 new high definition materials. I'm sure. I mean 122 versus 88. But I have all of these out. Seven new rock, 50 new wood materials, 14 new marble. I have them all set up here in a scene built just for you guys. Right in here. Okay, so here are all the new polygon materials that are included in Lumion 9 Pro. Uh, the regular version has a fraction of some of these, I believe. I believe Lumia might have, maybe Lumia has added some of their own. Oh, that's what's in. I want to clear that up. These are um, including new furs and grasses and other materials that they've added. That makes sense. 14 new grasses, 10. That's where the discrepancy is. 88 new polygon materials, though. That is all of them right here, set up by category exactly how it's listed there so I've even gone ahead and done some rendering showcasing to see what it looks like when it renders because it literally looks a lot different when you actually hit the render button sometimes on some of these materials so these are the new concretes we have here I'm going to try my best to kind of showcase where to find these if you're looking for them in general when you're looking through new materials, we're looking for materials in a library here. Lumion shipped with a lot of these. And now we're starting to see more and more that are from Polygon here. They got the little Polygon logo. It's kind of like when you're doing, looking for people and you see AXYZ, you know those are the best. Or you're looking through content and it says Evermotion, you know those are the best. That's the same for these materials. Um, looks like they have them all about 2K resolution. That's pretty good. 2K's, 2K's a good, uh, that's about as high as you need to go in most cases. So they're really, they're really adding quite a bit of quality and good resolution to these materials. So in this case, this is exactly what I'm talking about. They added several of these concretes in Lumion 8. So I guess you could refer to my tutorial I did for Lumion 8 where I covered all of these and then go from there because they just jumped on top of that. So I have five here. So for example, this will, these five, so these three and then these two, from here on are new. But it's hard to tell. So, I mean, 
I'm going to share this scene for you guys. It's just kind of something you can play with, and you could always just go copy, paste, or you could go ahead and add these to your favorite materials. I have plenty of my own here. I had considered actually sticking these all, uh, you know, temporarily getting rid of my favorite materials, making it blank, and then adding all these to favorites, and then saving that out for you guys to be able to add that to your favorites if you wanted, but didn't seem worth it. Uh, that's something I might be looking at for the content library, though. In general, I feel I can just share this scene so you guys can take a look at all the materials we have. And then, if you need to, you can find them. Actually, when you do click on them, it, refers, it, f it shows exactly where they are, which I forgot. That's, that's great. So, when you need to know exactly where the new ones start, you just kind of play with these. And you'll start to see which ones are the newest and which ones are the oldest. So, very good materials. Um, I have them all set up this way because I set it up for a render. Um, so, some are really interesting. They could be they could be utilized in several ways. You could override the color and keep that texture that's built onto it. They already have glossiness maps pre-loaded and optimized right out, of Lumion, right out of the box for Lumion for you guys to use. I love using custom materials myself, but it is nice just be able to just grab something and set it to a good concrete material. If I go in and I'm trying to find something that's a fabric, I know if it says polygon here, it's going to be pretty good. So quite a bit of really great materials added into Lumion 9. Um, so there's really not a lot, lot to cover. I'm not, I'm not going to spend my time looking at them so much in here because I'm going to showcase a little rendering right now showcasing just kind of just kind of all of them so I actually um, optimized this scene to use the um, I've been playing around with the overcast settings for real skies and I've been really happy with that usually you're going to be having direct lighting in your scenes but I just felt like this evenly lit up the materials um, it was kind of an experiment on that type of lighting but it really it showcases all the materials and um, I recommend playing around with the overcast actually I might do a tutorial on that uh, having that diffuse light set out everywhere is is, is really cool I, I really like it and it really makes these materials shine It doesn't have too much of a highlight but it really kind of gives them a realistic look to really te to be a testament of how how good some of these materials are. So, anyways, there's there's a lot of materials to cover. So there's that. Um, I just kind of rushed through that little animation there. Hopefully, it kind of gives you an idea of what these look like rendered. You you probably believe that they were good. They are good. They look great. This scene is shared. Um, and here are little things I could talk about there. What's great about these, they're not too high resolution, so you can use a bunch of them. Sometimes I use 4K or 8K materials, and I start to run out of RAM. They've optimized these really well at 2K. And they're always loaded right into Lumion, so they load nice and fast. And, um, yeah, I encourage them to keep using more polygon materials. Again, you can find each one of these categories. You know, this one's in the roofing. This one is found an outdoor stone, all the woods. So again, there's um, there's exterior and interior woods. So this is in indoor wood versus this indoor wood and they're together, right? Yeah, indoor wood. Some I think some yeah, and this one's set for outdoor. So there's three outdoor woods, and a lot of these are indoor woods. Just in case, it, it gets confusing sometimes. Yeah, so, really happy with these materials. Um, I hope this scene helps you kind of showcase them. This is a good idea for just testing out any materials. And, um, no, I think that about covers it. Um, Lumion is continually adding more and more high quality content to the library. I mean, there's 
there's there's, there's so much and it's it's great there's still room for plenty of custom there's always going to be custom materials you're going to need to add but it is always great just jumping into a category here and we have all these polygon ones and you know that it's going to look pretty good all right so a link to this this scene is on the bo is on uh is in the link to description um this is an LS9 scene and for so if you're well yeah so you have to have Lumion 9 and above depending on when you're watching this video to open them up and you'll have them all you can grab them you can copy paste them adjust them save them in here do whatever you want to them and they'll always be there great materials and that about covers for this scene um so thanks for watching if you have any questions or comments leave it in uh go ahead and comment and i will be happy to answer them thanks for watching and until next time guys